followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So we have uh, no one from the public wishing to speak tonight. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is move forward. Um, I need to get a motion uh, for the approval of the amended agenda provided for you here tonight. So we'll move. Second. Any questions or comments? Okay. All in favor of the uh, amended agenda say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Okay, uh, moving on, number two, approval of the minutes. Can I get a motion for the approval of the May 8th, 2023 regular meeting, the May 8th, 2023 work session, and the May 8th, 2023 executive session? Please. Mr. President, I move to approve the uh, minutes for the uh, May 8th regular session, the May 8th work session, and certify the exec session. Uh, as uh, of this device. Any uh, comments, corrections, questions on those? Okay. All in favor of the approval of the minutes for the May 8th meetings, say aye. 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 Opposed? That's motion carries. Okay, moving forward to number three here, the superintendent's report. I will hand this over to Mr. Circle. Oh, good evening. Uh, number one, um, I'm going to have Mr. Sims kind of chime in here. Proven solutions. Um, we are investigating, contracting some custodial work. We are going to be contracting some custodial work over the summer. Um, that's in the uh, uh, new business. But we're also looking at our issue with a shortage of custodians, so I wanted to kind of bring it up, something that we can think about, how to cover all the shortages we have. Um, I texted today about currently how short we are. We are short three people at the high school custodians. Um, we are one at the middle school and one at the elementary, and currently, this summer, we have three on medical. So, it's, we are having a difficult problem filling our custodian staff, especially in the evenings, it's getting to the point where it's becoming a crisis. So, uh, Mr. Sims, you want to add anything to this? Well, how long do you want me to talk? Um, a minute. Yeah, it's, it's a major problem. <laughs> it literally is a major problem because, uh, you know, this is like my ninth year here, and one of the things I think we've all prided ourselves on is the fact that, that uh, our schools have been very well taken care of and very clean. We're to the point now where it's almost difficult to have someone show up to work at night due to illnesses and, and, and lack of, uh, you know, we've got positions open that nobody applies for. And it's, it's difficult, very difficult. And, you know, I, as an administrator, I hear about it every day, I think, in our high school from somebody. Um, <clears throat> And we all know how much stuff that we do and how much stuff goes on, but it's a problem. And I don't know, I, I about a month or so ago at an admin meeting, I brought up the idea of <coughs> reaching out to a commercial agency and seeing if they couldn't come in and help us uh, because it's getting that bad. And so Mrs. Circle, I think, reached out to Proving Solutions. They came and walked the middle school and the high school the other day. And um, I think they're going to help us hopefully with some stuff this summer, do some major deep cleaning in some areas, but almost, I'm almost to the point where, um, uh, personally, where they need to be there almost on a nightly basis if we could get it reasonable enough to get it done, because we don't have people to do it. But that's pretty, pretty obvious, I think. And the, the, how we came up with the 
his name was last year when we had a crisis of quickly trying to get the building clean after the construction. They actually came in and were the ones that did a fabulous job. Um, What's the name of the company? Pro Proven Solutions. And so that's where that came from. And cleaning is that their forte? Yes, that's all. That's all that Performance is. services. Uh, grabbed him last year and had him come in because we were down to the nitty gritty, you know, in the high school and the middle school after all the all the construction, and uh, they brought in a crew that was remarkable um, and just got after it. And uh, so the lady that was actually the in, in charge of that cleanup at that time is still with this company and. He suggested that she ramrod whatever we do, and he thinks he can put it all together. I, I haven't seen the numbers yet. I saw the numbers on doing the deep cleaning in some areas this summer. But, uh, yeah, it's $26 an hour. Yeah, my comment would be at some point in time, I mean, we've got to get ahead of it because we're behind it. And you've got to get ahead of it. All of you know what cleaning's like. You've got to get on top of it and get ahead of it. Once you're ahead of it, it becomes much easier to deal with. But we're not in that situation right now, for sure. And I'm not sure, without this group, I'm not sure we could even catch up this summer at all. So it's, it's a difficult situation. <laughs> That's our that's our cost per year or that's that's what they, he quoted us. Okay. I think Andrea and I calculated it out, it was pretty close. I think he said eleven thousand a month. And me right now is it ten thousand a month is quoted, but that's what people so it's ten thousand plus the benefits, right? That's also yeah. if you get a full staff. Wage. Yeah, that's if you have full staff. Yeah. Well, the ten thousand is what we're sh what we've been short every month about how many yeah. positions we've been short that we haven't been spending. Oh, okay, okay. And that's just salary. Not yeah, it's not even benefits, benefits and you don't pay benefits for this. So if we, if we had a full staff, we'd be around ten thousand a month. But that's or do we have that already? No, we'd be more than ten thousand. Ten thousand is what we are well, not I mean, paying because correct. we're short. Uh, yes, we'd be 10, we were, more. yes. Correct. Does that include payroll taxes as well? Yeah. Yeah. No, that is just strictly the salary. Okay, so there's no benefits or anything.
Baseball and softball, I just want to do a shout out for our teams. They did a great job. Um, softball, of course, you know, they mix so much into baseball. But the same thing. Very excited to see the both teams. Uh, I never got, they, how did Cade do the regional call? He, he didn't make it to the next round. Materials is what concerns me. I, the 153 is not going to cover everything either. The curricular materials is your things like you know PE equipment, art materials, um, you know, AP testing costs, all those different things that we have. They didn't really think about that piece. We have not heard yet exactly if we can still charge curricular materials or if we cannot. Obviously, that's not going to go well. The parents have heard. The problem is, they have said before we could use debt service um, for some of the shortages. Because even before with us collecting fees, we've always been short. So we always banked in some debt service that automatically we could pull over and help cover the cost. They are saying we cannot use debt service at all. And any shortage would come out of the education. So this will take money directly out of the education. I'm watching this closely. 
everyone's really nice about this. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Um, we had our annual fiscal disclosure for 2022. I know it's old, but it's in your, I gave it to you in case you want any of that information to make it silly. Uh, it talks about our cash balances and <coughs> December of 2022, all the information, everything you need to know about it. Hi everybody. Um, so, in my first couple months here, I wanted to make it kind of important to make sure that we go through and kind of do an audit on what the needs are, especially in the technology department, but the corporation kind of as a whole. Um, and one of the things that has been kind of the most important at this moment has been we are basically understaffed is kind of the best way to put it. Um, we have people fulfilling multiple jobs and duties and wearing multiple hats and I think that's the thing that our team is really good at and we succeed really well with that. Um, the problem is in doing that and then kind of serving and working in all these areas we don't necessarily need to. Um, it takes us away from our actual job responsibilities at times. And we have people doing things and spending their time on projects or work that they really shouldn't be spending their time on and that kind of takes away from the things that are important. So um, I just wanted to preface, we have a great team that work really hard. Um, like I said, they wear multiple hats. They do a really good job at all the things they do, but there's only so many hours in the day and that's kind of what we have to work with. Um, so right now, what I'd like to kind of propose or at least start a discussion on is hiring an assistant director position. Um, it would be really helpful for allowing someone like me to be able to spend more time looking at contracts, getting vendors and multiple quotes from people. Um, this has kind of already started a little bit. There's a lot of renewals and a lot of things that are happening already that we're starting to notice. Um, there's two in particular at the current moment. One, I think we may be able to save $10,000 on that we've just been kind of renewing every year that isn't really a big need. And it may have gone missed and under the radar because we're so busy everywhere else that we don't have the time and kind of ability to dedicate as much time as I would like on every individual contract and making sure that we have, frankly, the best contracts that we can get with any of the vendors that are available. Um, the, the main goal that I have is to make sure that technology is becoming more and more useful and we're using it the best way that we can and, and doing that, saving as much money as we can to do all of those things. So the best way to do that is have people working on the things they need to be working on so they can focus on their actual job duties instead of bouncing around everywhere and worrying about kind of smaller things. Um, for instance, I don't think I was necessarily hired to work on computers all day. Um, while I enjoy it and I think it's very helpful and I'll do what I need to do and that's completely fine. Um, frankly, I think I'm overpaid to fix screens and laptops all day. Um, so having other people that can do things like that would be very helpful um, so that I get to spend my time on kind of bigger picture things and hopefully saving the corporation as much money as I can while making sure our focus on technology as it's now everywhere, um, we can do that in the best manner that we can. Um, the, I think that's pretty much it at the moment. Um, the only other thing I would say, I mentioned there were two, two bits of contracts that we're just looking at. One is in some licensing, like I mentioned, we're maybe going to be able to save $10,000 and working on it at the moment. Um, the other one has to do with the printers. There's been kind of some astronomical price increases over the last couple of years um, that they're kind of hard to see if you're just renewing a contract every year. But when you're able to step back and really look at it, um, things like from 2019 to 2021, one of our highest volume printers increased 110% in just two years. That's a massive price increase. And a lease ended at that point. And that was an increase of $600 a month just for a single printer. Um, that's a huge increase in price that shouldn't happen. And that's something that we can't see when we're too busy working on computers or other kind of small potatoes, basically. Um, and so a similar issue from 21 to 23, we've had a 45% across the board increase in printers and just their costs. Um, now, a couple years ago, those leases ended and we purchased those computers, I believe, for a dollar. And the effort was to try and save money and make them last longer. 
I think in the grand scheme, we have maybe saved a little bit of money on circuit printers and maybe not so much on others. Um, but this is something that takes a lot of time and crunches a lot of numbers and is important. And the only way that we can really have the time and energy to dedicate to these kinds of topics is to make sure everybody's working where they need to work and have people focus on the right things for what they were hired to do. So, is there any questions? Can you put together a cost analysis for a for that position? For my position, or the assistant director yeah, position? Yeah, I mean, uh, you don't have to give me numbers now, but you know, because we really need as, as a board, right, to know yeah. the this where we're potentially gonna say mm -hmm. without fluff. Right. That's been a problem in the past. We've always get yeah. fluff and it never happens. And then here's here's the cost, right? Mm -hmm. So we can kind of weigh that a little bit too as we go down because you know you can spend a hundred thousand dollars to save twenty five thousand. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's that'd be a fair thing once to yeah. come into that position as we get to know it better. Yeah. Get Yeah, well, what is, what is your current staff? You and? Uh, myself, and then we have an instructional kind of technology teacher. Um, I forget the specific position title. His name's uh, Mr. Vogt. Um, his core position is to be able to instruct staff and teach them how to use the technology that we offer to everyone. And frankly, it's a similar situation with him. He has to spend quite a bit more time than anticipated to fix computers and handle certain situations, that is a small part of his job, but there's a big part of, he has to spend so much time fixing computers and maintaining our technology um, that he doesn't get to spend as much time being able to do that instructional portion of his, his job. Okay. Um, and then the other person, I'm sorry, would be in the elementary school, we've got Kathy Zink. Um, she's basically, I mean, just our computer system analyst. Um, her main job is to fix the computers and stuff, but she's primarily focused on the elementary school. So our, our big lack is up here in the high school and middle school area. Um, having people in every building is very important. Um, so that's where this assistant director would assist in a lot of those kind of smaller projects and things to take some off of me, take some off of Joe, um, and then we would still have the elementary to handle those processes down there and you know, the more day-to-day -day tasks. Um, yeah, this would handle some bigger projects and stuff like that and take the weight off of basically myself and Joe. So and the technical skills to fix the screens and the laptops, is that something that could easily be taught or? That part, yeah. That part, that's a fairly low level of requirement to, to understand how to do that or to diagnose it. It's pretty teachable. How many uh, third graders are going to take, uh, retake the IRE test on June 21st? Um, 18. Are they enrolled in summer school right now? They are. All of them? So mm -hmm. it's not a problem on transportation to get them there? There were five that declined to take summer school. They were given remediation in school until the rest of the school year, and they're coming in this week to take the test. And our parents bring them in, or are we picking them up? Or? The parents bring those students in, but they declined to have them. Um, summer school, but the ones who are coming to summer school are going to take it at the end of summer school. Um, most of them are right ride the bus. Thanks. Okay, a question also. Actually, it, it'd be for Ms. Stansberry, but you can probably answer since you kind of called a minute. Uh, you talked about we're too short in our special ed. Are they aides? I see we have two teachers actually on to hire. Uh, yes, we need two more instructional assistance and okay, assistance, okay. Be fully staffed. <clears throat> okay. So we're actually only replacing two teachers for special ed then. And I think we hired <coughs> or we had the commitment to hire one instructional assistant. Did they make it on to this? Morgan, Morgan Davis. Okay. Yeah. We need at the end of the year we needed three. Okay. So okay. we've got one which is looking for two more. Okay. You need the speech. We're hopeful we'll be able to work something out with the interview we have next week. Thank you. 
I just wanted to clear that up. Teacher versus uh, instructional aid. So. Okay, uh, moving forward here, uh, number four, routine matters. Um, I need to get a motion. I'm going to try to group some of these together and then we can uh, discuss after that if we need to. Uh, so routine matters, 4A, I better read these out for consent items, monthly and payroll claims in the amount of $1,572,468.23. Also, the approval of the monthly financial reports as submitted by the treasurer. 4B would be employment of certified staff. Um, so we have several people here. Uh, we have Ashlyn Drake, Wendy Thompson, Amy Lee, Lauren Hahn, Neil Red Elk, Amy Long, Julie Grady, Sierra White, and Lydia Raider Store. So that would be in employment for certified staff 4B. 4C, employment of classified staff. We would have Sherry Brewer, Peyton Fosnott, Chris, Christopher Valenta, Sandy Duke, Morgan Davis, and Michelle Fells. We also have employment of ECA staff. Um, these are basically, I will not read all these names here. These are all the fall sports, as well as we do have one, um, which would be number, five, uh, number 25, uh, Mr. David Gilbert for the ECHS girls basketball head coach. Also 4E, we have employment of summer school staff. We have one through eight there, as well as some bus drivers that we're adding. Uh, 4F would be resignations, terminations, and retirements. Um, there's a couple uh, retirements in there that we can speak of as well. We will go through 4G for ECA stipends, 4H for fundraisers, and that will round out 4 for routine matters. So can I get a motion for 4A through H, please? I move we accept routine matters 4A through H as presented. Second. All right, any discussion? There's several things there, and I don't want anything to go unnoticed for sure. summer school staff. Um, <clears throat> I see where we um, reduced some down in hours. Is that because we didn't have the chip uh, in, uh, enrollment in those classes yes. from original? Yes. And then we increased one because of the same thing? Yes. That there was more? Yes. Yes. Refresh me why the hour rate is where it's at. Uh, I bought teachers. That's on the teacher contract. Okay, it's a flat board, it's, it's not based it's on. Okay. Okay. And then. And Bernadette Kramer, I switched that one because she's actually working two days a week at eight hours. Okay. That's why I altered that. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
the maintenance director start? Greg going, to stay on? Greg going to stay on for a while? Uh, he will be on call, yes. Um, so, and he will be staying healthy. Thank you, Chris. That's my other little note oh, here I had to ask about yeah. on our maintenance director. Um, so, it's 26 50 an hour, eight hours a day, a full year contract, so we're not a salary, right? It's all by the hour. Okay, so. Um, when we invent, we have something after the eight hours or that. Um, well, actually, we're at the salary, so we are saying be salary. So we're going to be salary. Yes. Okay, that's why I wanted to make sure yeah, because Greg was salary, so yeah, this he will be a salary. salary get the benefits of salary. Okay, because so that, you know, if there's extra things that go on after hours, and I know that Greg and him. You know, there's an issue with the overtime thing, so I just want to make sure that it's all clear now, so salary takes care of that. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Okay, we're going to have a salary position. It should be noted on the board. Agenda, there is a salary position. And how much? <clears throat> a salary position is the year old now. Do you want to amend your uh, motion to show the yearly salary? I didn't do the motion. <laughs> okay, so what? what how much in, in the coach, What number is that? C number three. I believe that's fifty five one twenty. Yeah. Okay. Fifty five one twenty. I move to amend the motion for three C instead of twenty six fifty dollars an hour, twenty six dollars and fifty cents an hour for eight hours a day to make a solid position of fifty five thousand one hundred and twenty dollars. Number three, we've got that as a salary position now. Uh, you just basically notate it differently. Is there any other question or comment on 4A through H? Okay. All in favor of 4A through H, say aye. Um, I do want to welcome, now that we've got that vote, uh, those new positions that are here tonight. Uh, we've got a couple. Looks like I think Wendy Thompson was here in the back. Um, Wendy is going to be the new DCSE literacy coach. Uh, we have Neil Red Elk, which will be the DCHS mental health support specialist. Neely, sorry. No, Neil. Right. Neil? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Just yell at me if I say it wrong. Uh, we have Sierra White, which is the new agricultural teacher. Uh, and then we also have Michelle Fels, Fels, Fels? Fels. I don't want to say it wrong, sorry. Um, which will be the DCH, DCSC Corporation Secretary. So, and did I miss anybody that's here? We have our new girls varsity basketball coach with us, who's an old timer, been around a lot. I'm thrilled to have you coaching basketball uh, as a head coach, uh, Dave Gilbert. Welcome, Dave. It's like a young old timer to me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> and then a, also, I'm the one like rocking chair. <laughs> online, we do have Chris Valenza, which is the new uh, maintenance Just director. Let me make sure I get the name right. So. I uh, just wanted to, before we move on, just welcome those new those new staff members and uh, basically everyone new in our family that will definitely continue to help us out. So, okay, moving forward, uh, number five, we have old business here. So, 
Uh, we've got several things in the old business. Um, we'll just kind of do these one at a time. Um, 5A, we have sidewalk repair. Um, we were asked to get another quote, so can I get a motion for uh, 5A, the sidewalk repair? I move we approve the sidewalk repair, uh, 5A. Uh, which quote will we go on there? First. Number one. Okay. Preferred quote. CC shops and 68,000 persons. I get a second. Second. Are there any, uh, any additional questions or comments on that? Um, we did have that second bid come in that we did not have. Um, um, C.C. Shepson, $68,460. Say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, motion carries. Uh, 5B, we have uh, Crenshaw paving. Um, I'd like to get a motion on this. Basically, we've just added a little bit of fees that were really under the dollar amount, um, but not necessary for the, the motion, but we just want to be transparent here. So if I get a uh, motion for the Crenshaw paving, for $41,252 now. So moved. Second. Uh, basically, um, to add into that, there was a small area for the CECC for $1,800. Obviously, it's under the $5,000 <coughs> uh, But just because our number was going up for the 2021 bond, we wanted to have that in there. Mr. Serbo, do you have any additional? <coughs> no, other than we're just doing spot. They were working on that today. Any other questions or comments on the potential paper? I think last time we talked, this was on the table. Can you table this? Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, the Crenshaw bid? That's what we're talking about. Talked about around the elementary, the small, such a small area. And someone was going to check on what all that included. Yeah, we can The sidewalk was tabled last month because we didn't have the quote. Uh, Crenshaw. Crenshaw was tabled? No, I no. said the sidewalk repair was. Oh, yeah, we did. We tabled we that one because we didn't have the second quote. Ross was supposed to be getting an empty committee yet. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. That's one of the different little projects. Yeah. So that was tabled due to not having that extra quote. Um, Ross so thought it would be paper. less. He was hoping it would be less, so that's why it was tabled. But <laughs> All right, anything else on the 5B? Crenshaw paving. Okay, all in favor of 5B? Crenshaw paving for $41,252. Say aye. 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 
Opposed? Okay, motion carries. Okay, number six, we have new business here. Um, we got several things under the new business. Um, what I'm going to do is kind of move through this in, a, in a, a group, and then we can kind of come back and discuss some things. Um, so I'd like to get a motion for number six, new business, 6A for the NEOLA policies and the updates which we discussed in the work session prior to the meeting. Uh, six, B, the Indiana School for the Blind and Visually Impaired for the 2023-2024 school year. Uh, 6C, the Learning Tree for 2023-2024 school year. 6D, uh, for the DCMS licensing, the IXL learning for $7,125. Uh, also 6E, the IXL learning for the DCES for $11,139. Um, 6F, uh, rowing IT solutions for $141,000. Excuse me, $141,750. As well as 6G, which is uh, the envelope facilities, $10,663. 6H would be the corporation bank proposal. 6I would be the curriculum associates DCES for $33,020.60. And then 6J, Additional Curriculum Fees, DCHS Agricultural Classics. Mr. President, I move we accept uh, A through J as presented. Second. Okay. Uh, any questions or <laughs> comments? So I was going to help go through this from uh, 6A, the NEOLA policies as discussed. Um, Emory, did you have any input on 6B? Um, we have a student that um, needs to have access to the Indiana School of Blind and Visual Impaired School. Mr. Hopkins, correct me. That is correct. Okay. Is there anything in that contract we need to pull out separately to put in the bank? Cost? Serviced here, or are we service? Will they be serviced there? They go out. Do we have to provide transportation, I assume, and all that with this? We have in the past. Also, um, we have the learning tree contact, uh, contract in there. Um, correct. Renewal. Any other questions on 6 A through J? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Item F, the 54 of these stomachs, 75 inch panels. Are we replacing? No. Well, we're replacing smart boards. Why, and then why uh, do we have an uh, find L for 11 more of those? So the, the reason for that is they're split into two different funds. One, we got a wind grant that'll pay for most of the um, 54. There's about $1,900 left over. And we also got an SR3 grant, or it's a grant or a fund, um, that will cover the extra 1914 and then there's also enough room for the other 20,875 for the other 11 screens. 
So the reason that one is split up a little bit is there's some left over. So the ESSER 3 is going to move and cover that first one. They're identical. Yeah. yeah, they're the same screens. We just have to split it up because they're different fun ones. That was it. We just want to make sure we got all that. Can I say something? Yeah. It's it's just the way it was quoted because when he came in, he didn't know that when Anne Marie and I were working on the SR3 grant, we had included some interactive panels in there for Scott. And then the win, the people with the win grant reached out to Scott and he had submitted an application for that grant and then that money was funded. So they just happened to come in at the same time. So it just they're needed for all the classrooms as an upgrade, and since we had this funding, I mean, we just, so instead of adjusting the SR3 grant down, I mean, they're needed, we just went ahead with the funds that we had. And they're just separate quotes because of the way they came in. But he didn't is, know. Yeah, there is two quotes. There are two separate yeah, two quotes. Two bids, so we need to handle them separate. Yes. Okay. okay. And we'll leave the L down there, and we'll discuss that in a second. <clears throat> is there a maintenance agreement or extended warranties on these? I believe they come with a three year, but I can double check. I will say this we were having projectors go down because our current smart boards, this was a discussion Scott and I had. Uh, we are, our current smart boards, you have to have a projector, and then of course you have a smart board. Projectors are all starting to run out. Yeah. This technology then will. It also has a lot of other features that smart boards don't have. It lets multiple students use them at the same time as well. Um, and it has some, some built-in operating systems to be able to be used without anything really connected to them if they would like. Um, they can also connect their computers and do everything. It's really it's this one we're using in here. It's a lot more of these. So we've got a couple teachers use them already. They really like them. They're a lot more sustainable than the smart boards with projectors we have currently. So we're moving in that direction. So what will be done with the uh, old ones, old smart boards? Will they be listed on uh, excess inventory to be getting rid of to help offset some of the cost too? Yeah, well, that's what I'm yeah, wondering. but it's still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if we can, I mean, that's an option. We need sure. to again, stay correct on our asset. Yeah, I think it was back front and back, and I didn't realize it was front and back. So I think you're missing oh, it. Okay. Do you like mine? Uh, yeah, I would like to. <laughs> I have the number part. Thank you. Well, we have three proposals. It's a corporation bank proposal. Yes. Yeah. Are you recommending first merchants? We are. Or what are you recommending? We are recommending first merchants. Um, we, at the final, at We 
actually met with all of the banks last year, and then just in the past few months, First Merchants had reached out to us again, and then we met with Horizon, and this was just basically discussing money markets and CDs. Um, and then First Merchants said, could we go ahead and give you a proposal for what it would be if you take all of your accounts? And then um, when we contacted Horizon to let them know we were planning to go with First Merchants, they wanted to give us another bid then, and it was just here at the end of the day, so that's why you just got that information here. Or is yeah, First Merchants that. Bank at? Um, Lafayette, Monticello, and Flora, same as Horizon. <coughs> they, are, they aren't local. Do they have the same online capabilities as we have? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Um, if I could amend the uh, motion, each uh, we are recommending First Merchants uh, Bank as the uh, bid winner. Is that the correct term? Thank you, choice. <laughs> and I apologize. Tomorrow to get the information. I mean, it will be. Okay, the better. It's <clears throat> 20 plus grand in interest. Right, is this reviewed annually or how often do you guys review this? With First Merchants, they said that it would be reviewed annually, at least annually. A through J. Okay. All in favor of new business number 6A through J, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, moving on. 6K. 